the blood of the martyrs was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained everlasting reward. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We celebrate today the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim, priest, and Po Chong, and companions, martyrs. These Korean martyrs shed their life because they held fast on Christ and therefore they are they witnessed to the to the love of God and to the love of the gospel. And Tertullian has told us once meditated and said the blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christianity. So we continue to pray through the intercession that the Lord may help us also to hold fast on his teaching. And in especially special during this sacrifice of the Eucharist, we remember all those who are named after Andrew Kim and Paul Chong, and all those places which are dedicated to these saints, that the Lord may continue inspiring them by their way of life and their intercession. Let us call to mind our sins so that we may be worthy partakers in this Eucharistic celebration. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of God the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life that is everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, Saints Andrew Kim, and his companions the most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help, and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like flowing water is the heart of the king in the hand of the Lord, who turns it where he pleases. A man's conduct may strike him as upright. The Lord, however, weighs the heart. To act virtuously and with justice is more pleasing to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eye, proud heart, lamp of the wicked, nothing but sin. The hard-working man is thoughtful, and all is gain. Too much haste, and all that comes of it is want. To make a fortune with the help of a lying tongue, such the idle fantasy of those who look for death. The wicked man's soul is intent on evil. He looks on his neighbor with dislike. When a mocker is punished, the ignorant man grows wiser. When a wise man is instructed, he acquires more knowledge. The just one watches the house of the wicked. He hurls the wicked to destruction. He who shuts his ear to the poor man's cry shall himself plead and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. 
They are happy whose life is blameless, who follow God's law. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. I have chosen the way of truth, with your decrees before me. Train me to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me in the path of your commands, for there is my delight. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother and brothers of Jesus came looking for him, but they could not get to him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and brothers are standing outside and want to see you. But he said, in answer, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. This is the gospel of the Lord. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. Dear brothers and sisters, the greeting to the gospel sums it up very well. It tells us who the blessed are, who are those who have faith, who are those following in the footsteps of their master, who are the authentic, who are the right, disciples of Jesus. There are two elements that accompany these people. Those we call the blessed. The first one is attuned to the sense of hearing. We know that we hear with our own ears, but we also hear with our own heart. The heart, after hearing, keeps what it has heard. It meditates upon it, it reflects upon it, and it treasures it. If the heart doesn't treasure what it has heard, it is troubled, it becomes restless, it is anxious, and it is filled with bad emotions. And therefore, the person does not experience any peace. He does not experience any tranquility. But when the word is good, what, what has been heard is good. The heart is at peace. The whole person is at peace. Secondly, what makes one blessed is the word, the word of God. And that word, after being heard, it is kept right in the person's life, in the person's heart. Today we hear this short extract from St. Luke's Gospel, whereby the mother and the brothers of Jesus, these were biological the biological mother and the biological brothers, they come looking for him and is teaching the crowd. And they whisper to him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they want to see you. Jesus widens the horizon of brotherhood 
and motherhood. It does not stop at only biological motherhood or brotherhood. But he wants to form a bigger family, a bigger communion with the human race, a bigger communion with the creation. And therefore he responds, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. By this statement, all human beings are encompassed only if they hear the word of God and practice it. And whoever keeps and practices this word is a blessed. Whoever hears and practices this word is the one who melts to be called rightly and rightly so a mother or a brother of Jesus, the one who has communion with him. We hear the word every day. We read it ourselves. And therefore, it should make an impact and transform our lives, seen into practice, seen into actions every day. Today, we celebrate a memorial of the saints, of the martyrs, Andrew Kim and Paul Chong. These saints show us the universality of the Catholic Church. They are Korean martyrs of the 19th century who endured the persecution of the time and did not fail to practice, to hear and practice the word of God, even paying a witness, a witness of blood. They made the right choice. They made a right decision. They did not apostatize even amidst these tribulations inflicted upon them by those who chose not to practice, not to hear the word of God. And therefore we pray through them that they may intercede for us, they may pray for us, that every day we may grow into the practice into the hearing and the practice of the word of God. And in this sense, that also we may melt to be called the blessed ones of God as a result of hearing, keeping, and practicing what Christ has taught us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, Andrew Kim and Po Chong, grant that we ourselves may become the sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to our faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, His Grace Anthony Fisher, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we may melt be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on now, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us a grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And the grace has grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us acknowledge to each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father, says the Lord. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the vigilant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, Andrew Kim and Po Chong and companions, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ, our Mass is ended. And have a blessed day.